Welcome back everyone. You may be in a position where for some reason your face ID sensor is just not working on your iPhone. Now this can happen for a couple of different reasons, but I'll go ahead and break down some of the more common reasons as to why this may be happening. Now the very first reason in my opinion from what I've seen and how to actually fix this is to actually go ahead and wipe off anything that may be in front of the face ID sensor. Now, for those of you who don't know, the face ID sensor is literally on the left side of the notch. So if you look at, if you're looking at the front right here with the camera, it's on the opposite side of that camera. So you want to make sure if you have a case that's covering it, if you have a bunch of sweat or dirt or, you know, grimy stuff over that specific lens, you basically just want to kind of wipe it off, get it like a napkin or something like that, or a microfiber cloth and clean out, you know, basically the notch side. And typically at this point, it should go ahead and fix up a lot of the issues that you may be happening with face ID. Now let's say you went ahead and did that and for some reason face ID is still not working. Well typically this could be that maybe you you know changed your appearance crazy. Maybe like you shaved everything or you like you did something crazy with your face so it doesn't really recognize your face anymore. In that case you'll have to basically add your new changes to face ID in order to do this and typically you know face ID is really good at picking up changes and stuff but if it's super drastic it may not be able to you know pick up those changes. So what you want to do is you want to open up your settings you want to scroll down until you get into face ID and passcode, which is here. You then want to go ahead and click, well, I already have set a face ID, but there should be a way to actually add a face. So you want to go ahead and add a face within face ID. And there's a little option right here that says it. And pretty much at that point, it'll go ahead and add your new face or the changes that you made. And then that's really pretty much it. That's all you really have to do in that case. But let's say you didn't do that. Let's say there weren't any changes. You still have the same exact thing. And for some reason, you know, face ID is still not working. Well, in this case, this is a very easy thing. Typically, from what I've seen, it's a software update that ends up fixing this issue. And if, you're, if you've been experiencing this issue randomly out of nowhere, then that probably means it's a good sign. Hopefully, the face ID sensor isn't broken. But typically, what you can do is just go into your settings. You want to scroll down into general. You want to scroll up into software update, which is right here. And you just want to see if there's a software update available. As you can see, I do have the software update. And pretty much at this point, I can go ahead and just download and install this update and pretty much move on from there. This will probably end up fixing the issue more times than not. And if it's a new phone, if it's like an iPhone 11 or iPhone 12 as of this point, or if you have a new phone of that generation, then you should be okay. And it should just be a software issue. But let's say you software updated your phone and you restarted your phone, you did all this stuff and it's still not working. Well, it might mean that you have a broken face ID sensor. And typically, you know, before I think we could have replaced it or something like that on like the iPhone 10, but you will have to pretty much set up an appointment with Apple and pretty much have them fix that face ID sensor. I, if you're under Apple Care, it might be covered, but I'm not really too sure. So that's pretty much a couple ways to fix it. And at the end, you might have to replace it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it would mean so much for you guys to hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything, also every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.